Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my brand new channel, my new gaming channel. Uh, my name is Sage and I am a variety gamer, so I will be playing a bunch of different games on this channel. So I hope you will join me <laughs> on this journey of mine. So a little backstory, I haven't gamed in years. Uh, my last console was a PlayStation 2 and I also had the PSP, but it's been ages and I'm kind of rusty on playing games, so um, yeah, I recently got my hands on a PS5 and I am stoked because I have been wanting this console since the release, like no, since the reveal, the live reveal that they did uh, back in 2020, I believe. So yeah, I finally got my hands on one and I am loving it so far. I've played a couple of games already, but there are many that I need to catch up on because it's been a while. So since I decided to create this gaming channel, I've held off on playing many games so that I can record my first playthrough. And uh, I've been I've been trying to get this channel going so that I can start playing games. I'm excited. Excited. So yeah, the first game I will be playing it is called Gris, Gris, and it's Spanish for gray. Um, I would consider this an atmospheric platformer. Um, I don't know what the game is about, uh, but I did read that the devs um, was it Nomada Studio. Um, they are from Barcelona, Barcelona, and um, I read that this game is actually their debut release, so their first game, and I'm really excited to play it because it looks it looks amazing. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna start it now. Her character design. Um, and the sketchy look of her of her body. <laughs> oh my gosh, the music is amazing. Nomada Studio, yeah. Okay. Um Yeah, so when I saw the trailer for this game, I knew I had to play it. Um Can I move? Oh. 
Okay, so every time I press a button, she just drops. So yeah, I I wanted to play this because I'm a sucker for um like ambient instrumental music. And <laughs> the music that was playing in the trailer was just beautiful. What are those? They almost look like they're swimming in the air. I didn't do that. Okay, now I can jump. Wait, we gotta go backwards. Gotta go back. <laughs> um... I love how flowy her dress is. Or is that a poncho? Oh. Who is that? So yeah, uh, music and um, emotionally evocative pieces. Denial, oh. Oh, her expression, like the breath and like the shaking of the head is just it's very sad so yeah as I was saying um, when it comes to instrumental music and emotionally evocative works I'm a sucker for those um, I I'm a sensitive person and like those just really hit me in the feels so i love those oh and also watercolor watercolor is my favorite art medium and uh yeah i just love how this game incorporated watercolor into their into everything wow So, oh, wait, I know those things were moving, right? I'm not crazy. Oh my gosh, they got legs. Wait. how we're in this uh, barren ruin. Everything is just monochromatic, gray, black, white. And the only color we have is her hair. I love her hair. Um, but yeah, everything is just so gray. What is that? Okay. Oh, it's following us. Ooh, is that like a constellation? I love how it's following us! <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can see the, the watercolor splatter. <laughs> the paint strokes. Oh, there's something there. Another star. <gasps> We're just collecting stars now. Okay. Let's 
so we need one more. One more star, baby. Got it. Oh, there it is. It's up there. Those are interesting trees when they're moving. <clears throat> There was that thing down there, right? Noise. Okay. Gotta go back up again. <clears throat> I'm coming after you. Star child. <gasps> Those are my star babies. Whoa. What is that? That is so cool. That's like a flying manta ray. Wait, it's just like the other one where they look like they were flying. I don't know what it was, but it's kind of, it gives the appearance that they're swimming in the air. Can I walk on that? The sound of that, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh. And my controller, um, my controller vibrated with every step that she took. Oh, I can hear. Okay, it's an interesting sound on the... There's a sound that the controller makes when she steps. Can't explain it. That's, that's cool. Wait, now I got three star babies. Oh, that's the hand from the beginning. Red. Oh, I love the incorporation, like with each layer of red that came in. It's really pretty. So I wonder if uh, maybe with each phase we go through the. <laughs> Um, okay. <laughs> uh, with each phase that maybe another color will be added until we come up with like a masterpiece. What is that? Okay. <gasps> Wait, do you guys see the flowers? Wow. Oh, look at that. It's so pretty.
Okay. <clears throat> so I'm guessing we're supposed to collect more to... I don't know, what are we doing? Are we collecting stars to um, create a path? Jump? Oh no, I can't. I cannot jump yet. I wonder if we're gonna get like a double jump at some point. Oh, I love the birds. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. Oh, but those are the flowers are shapes, squares and triangles and wait. Turtle. I wonder if those are the different levels of the game. I guess we'll see. Hello. Oh my gosh. This game is freaking beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's like every every shot can be a, a wallpaper. Oh my gosh. It just speaks to me. Oh, she's moving by herself. That was such a great intro. Okay. Oh my gosh. All of that was just the intro. Amazing. Whee! That was so graceful. <laughs> Gotta go back again, again. There's always some, yeah, you see. He's gotta go back. There's three. Does that mean that we're collecting three stars? So now it looks like we're in a desert. Oh, I love the red. Red is like one of my favorite colors. I, I like the deep red, like the um, maroon wine. Oh, look at that shot. I could just frame this in my, my house. Mm -hmm. OK. 
okay. Windmills. Sandstorm. I don't know if I should be caught in that. <sighs> Gotta find shelter. Okay. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> I almost did not make that. My gosh. That storm is so aggressive. Raging storm. Huh. Yeah, I'm thinking like raging anger. Um, oh, I need another star. Um, And red. Red is like a color that really symbolizes anger, right? Um, and it's like when you're consumed by anger, you can't see anything. Because at some points in this storm, I really can't see <laughs> the screen. Um, oh my gosh, that's so far. <gasps> it's coming. I am just assuming by how aggressive the storm is that I shouldn't be caught in it. So, as long as I can find some shelter, I should be fine, I think. I should be fine. alien rock formation with the legs. Okay. Um, the music is incredible too. Uh, when the storm comes. So that's what happens. Okay, let's wait. <laughs> yeah, that is not something you want to get caught in. Like what I did. Nice! Hold R2. 
Oh, sweet. Huh. that can help with the storm. I guess we could try, right? Nice. Okay. Got it. I'm thinking of like... What that can symbolize. Um, building walls. Building walls. Um, maybe grounding yourself. Oh, I can move too. <laughs> wow, this is going on for a long time. the same woman from the beginning. So it's like with each each pillar she becomes more and more more and more of a rock. It's like her pain and her grief is... hardening her emotions and then she's just no longer... <sighs> okay, um... Let's go this way to see first before... I dropped down because I'm not sure how far that leads down. <laughs> so we just got rock creatures with legs. That's cool. I dig it. I like the contrast of the structures. So you have the rocks and the boulders and... Can I jump? No. Okay. <laughs> I need a double jump. Um, so yeah, we have the rocks. The rock formations. Uh, and the broken down building. And then you have this. 
delicate structure. It's very thin and... I wonder if the wind is gonna take me. Nice, that worked. <laughs> Okay, cool. Yeah, see the watercolor? Oh, I like the layers of the colors in the foreground and in the back. <clears throat> Hello, friends. Thank you. Okay, now we can go down. Let's see where that leads. Okay, ready? Whoa! Jeez. I'm happy I went the other way first. <laughs> Um. Oh my gosh, the stars are chasing. Ooh. That is so cool. And we got what are those? Those are butterflies following. Oh, I just noticed the controller is on red. It's like, wait, can you guys see the lights on here? It's on red. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay. <laughs> Am I supposed to break her? Whoa, okay. It's like, um, it's like we hit rock bottom. Right, that's exactly what I'm getting from this. Okay. I'm assuming we're supposed to break. Did we get more butterflies too? I feel like we did. <sighs> Anger! Oh, I was right! <gasps> Ooh, I just got the chills. It's like, um, those butterflies help me out of my darkness. Can you hear the nature sounds? You can hear birds chirping and the wind. Okay, so we had... That's cool. So we had denial and anger. So I wonder if this has to do with grief. Ah. Ah, the bell. Yeah, I wonder if this has to do with grief. 
um, the stages of grief. I forgot how many there are. Um, I think it's either five or seven. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, if we have denial and grief, I mean, denial and anger. Um, I know there's depression. And I forgot the other ones. Okay, so that's my theory. Uh, this has to do with uh, the stages of grief. And I did say that earlier, didn't I, during the sandstorm? Guys, the music is so pretty. Okay, so I don't know. I don't know if I should be breaking those things. Yeah, that's like something, um, you know, when you're going through anger, you're just in that state of rage that you want to break things or want to hit things. And when done correctly, that could be a very therapeutic uh, thing to do. So, you know. Ah, cool. Um, so releasing, um, sorry, there's so much stuff going on. <laughs> I'm trying to, <laughs> okay. So as I was saying, um, being able to release, um, the energy of anger out of your body, a good way to do that is to, um, express it outwardly so things like boxing or breaking things um hitting things like safely you know hitting your pillow or something like that uh, screaming can be a very cathartic um Form of healing. Okay, I need. I need one more star. Ah, oh, there it is. Was it tilt it? Aha. interesting um i don't know if it's coming from the windmill but on my controller i can feel the um it's like with each pass of the windmill i can feel it vibrating on my controller Okay. 
we got our star. how they made um you know the circle you see it a lot in um like astrology birth charts with the planets and everything and how they made it into like the gadgets of a clock oh break So it's interesting in this game, it's like the music at some points, it's just... Sorry, I wanted to play with that. Um, I noticed that on some occasion it's just quiet. You just hear the sounds of... The landscape like that you just hear the birds or the flaps of wings and then like it's just quiet and then you have the music so it's like sometimes you just need to sit in silence you know with the song I wonder do they do they have a uh, sheet music for this because I would love to play this on the piano it's so pretty okay I don't know if you guys hear that uh, there's like a knocking on the door that's um a chicken <laughs> pecking at the the sliding door. Yeah, I live on a farm. So if you hear chickens and stuff in the background, sorry, but I can't do anything about it. So I wonder if there's anything over there. But how do I get there? I feel it. Should I just... Should I just jump? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's do it. Nice! Yeah, you know, sometimes you just gotta take a leap of faith. Something will catch ya, you know? Gotta trust that intuition <laughs> and go for it. Yeah, nice. Ooh, okay, we gotta get this one starting. at the same time. Nice! Okay. I see here something that we need a break. No. Okay. Cool! Where do I start first? Okay, I guess here. sound of that. Okay, how do I get there? No. Let me 
sir. Aha! Uh -huh. Gotta bring this. Cool, okay. Gotta go up, up. That's awesome. Okay. Cool. Okay, I know I need to go over there because I could see that rock that I can break, but how do I do that? So my guess is I need to bring it down all the way as far as I can as far as it can go. Um, and I guess I need to run up. But can I make it? Okay, let's go. I need to run. Ah, uh, can I make it? Yes, okay, cool. Four stars. Oh, that is so fun. Going down the slide. <laughs> um, okay, let's go. Gotta go this side. Oh, no. <sighs> so I'm guessing in the theme of anger It's like um, you build these walls up to protect yourself. I need to jump on top of you. Um, yeah, you build these walls to protect yourself and you just harden. I wonder if... Um... I'm so sorry. <gasps> I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> Yeah, that's to show that like sometimes in anger you kind of hurt the people around you even without meaning to um but yeah as i was as i was saying it's like remember in the beginning uh when we first saw that rock formation with the legs it was this huge um boulder kind of rock and it kind of looks like a as if it was um, in the shape of a heart. So, I think maybe that could have been her heart just 
turning into a rock from all the pain, like all the hard. Like it was too much, um, too much pain to feel that you just kind of shut everything out and you just become stone cold. But you know what I mean, right? It's like when you don't want to feel all the emotions, you just kind of harden yourself. I love the sound of the bells. I see things to break. Oh. Okay. Okay, let's guess this starting. Okay, I guess we need to go up. Higher. We must ascend. Yeah, I see right there. Okay. wasn't high enough. I need to go higher. Oh yeah, I see. Okay. Look at the colors. Wow. Wow. Wow, oh, you're going up. Wow, that, that's so beautiful. For such a emotionally driven game, this is quite relaxing and therapeutic. <laughs> Are you going to get another color? green you got we've got nature now nature is very healing guys we're going down again so yeah so far um we never receive any damage or anything like that so that's nice. It's like you don't have to worry about fall damage, getting hurt, or anything. 
Um, I wonder if we're going to come across any enemies. I see butterflies. Wait, it's shaking. Can I break it? Ah, oh, cool. But I can't do anything. <gasps> the chickens are calling. Ah. Uh. Got more. Wow, I love the incorporation of all the colors. It's like with each stage, you just keep adding color to the landscape. Oh, you can see the grass. I love it. It's becoming more and more lively. Okay. Two, four, six, seven. Okay. Okay, I don't know if you guys know this. I am such a nature baby. So, things that make me happy are like the birds chirping, <laughs> birds singing. Uh, water. I love water. Huh. No, I can't go back. We must move forward. <gasps> oh! The control is green now. Wait, it's hard to see. See, yeah, the light is too bright. But right here, the light. Wow, the attention to detail is pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, now we're in the green phase. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna end it here. Um, so far, I am absolutely loving this game. Just between the music and the art and interacting with the scenery and the story. Um, I have a few theories, a couple of theories on the story and what this might be about, but I'm gonna hold off until maybe the next video or towards the end before I share that. I kind of want to play more just to solidify my theories. Um, yeah oh it's amazing so yeah i hope you guys enjoy my little playthrough and uh yeah if you're interested in watching more uh be sure to follow me and i will catch you guys in the next video yeah okay <laughs> i'm kind of happy with how this came out Not sure if you can hear the chicken outside, but we have a bunch of little babies that have uh, hatched. Yeah, and they're 
so freaking adorable. So, yeah. <laughs>